Hello, this is Darren McCulley with the Professional Control Corporation. Today, I'm going to show you how to commission a Siemens G120 drive and configure basic safety through digital inputs using Start Drive and my G120 demo unit. The demo unit consists of a CU240E-2 PNF control unit and a power module at 0.37 kW which and a PM240 version. So first, I need to create a new project. I'll name it Demo Drive Create. I'm going to configure a device. So configure device, add new device, make sure my drives is highlighted, choose my G120. The control unit is a, a CU240E-2 PNF, as I mentioned. Correct part number is here, and the firmware version is correct. So I'll click Add. Here I have my hardware view. I can see I have my control unit was added. I am missing my power module. So I'm going to go to my catalog and choose power units, PM240, 0.37 kW, smallest one. And this is the correct part number for my power module. So I'm going to grab it, drop it in, and save my project. Next, I want to parameterize the control unit. So I'll double click on parameter. I want to use the wizards, so here's the wizards tab, commissioning wizard. Standard drive control is fine. If I wanted to use vector control, I could go to expert, but variable, variable frequency is fine, so that's what I'll use. This chooses where I get my command sources from. The default would be from a PLC, but I want to change that. So I want to change it to standard IO with analog set point which will be controlled from digital inputs. Accept those changes. And you can see how it connected my parameterization here. So digital input zero is connected to parameter 840, which is on off. Digital input input one is connected to parameter 1113, which is set point inversion or reverse. And all the way down to analog input zero is connected to parameter 1070, which is my main speed set point. So next, I'll choose a NEMA motor, 60 hertz SI units, and the input voltage is 480 volts. I want to enter my motor data instead of selecting from a catalog list. And it's an induction motor. 0.57 kW is the rating, 0.21, or 0.57 amps, 0.21 kW and 1650 RPM, and it's 480 volt motor at 60 Hertz. 0.85 current limit is good, which is 150% of my rated current. 1800 RPM is fine for the max RPM, uh, two seconds and two seconds for the ramp up and ramp down time. So 10, and we're not using off three, so I'll leave it as is. Next, I want to have constant load with linear characteristic. Let's say this is like a conveyor application. If it was a fan or a pump, I could choose speed dependent load for a pair, the parabolic characteristic. And I want to leave the motor identification to identify the motor at standstill on my first on command, which identifies the rotor and stator resistances and leakage inductances for better performance. So I'll click next. And I'm done with my wizard, so it gives me a summary of the changes I've made. Click Finish, save my project again, and then choose my Download to Device icon and download to my drive. So this is how I connected to, I'm connected to my drive, which is through the USB port in front of the drive. So I'll choose S7 USB and start my search. So it found this drive with this MAC address, which you can look at, at on the nameplate of the control unit. So that's correct. So I'll load. I want to save the parameterization to the EEPROM, so the permanent memory. So I leave this checked. Therefore, I don't lose the parameterization on a power cycle of the drive. So we'll load. All right, so we're done downloading to the drive. Now I want to commission my safety. 
So I want to go to functional view and then I want to go online with my drive. You can tell I'm online by this orange banner at the top and then a little indication at the bottom here saying I'm connected to drive one. I want to go to drive functions, safety integrated, and I have my safe, start safety commissioning icon up here. So I'm gonna click that. I need to enter in the default password, which is zero always as it states here. Enter in a new password, one, two, three, four, and confirm it. And okay, so my password has been changed. Okay, I'm gonna choose a slate to select the safety functionality, which is basic function. So just safe torque off. The control type is the digital inputs, so via terminals. I safe torque off. This is a connect, I could connect a output. So it'll get a signal that says the drives in safe torque off mode. Uh, you connect that to a digital output and maybe a light or something, but I'm not gonna do that. The test safe stop. There's a timer for that set at eight hours, which says that I have to test my safety circuit by pushing the e-stop every eight hours, or I'll get an alarm telling me that I need to test my safety circuit. Uh, you can set this to a day or a month or you know several months, depending on your safety um, program and you know how often you have to test your safety devices to make sure that they're functioning properly. This does not prevent my drive from running; it's just an alarm. Uh, the FDI, FDO, the FDI discrepancy time is a time that the two digital safety digital inputs have to be high with, or you'll get a fault if they're not both high within 500 milliseconds of each other. And the FDI input filter is basically debounce time. So I'll end my safety commissioning. And I do want to save that to permanent memory, so yes. Now I will look at my inputs and outputs and my digital inputs. And you can see that digital input four and five are my safety digital inputs. And those are, connect, are terminal 16 and 17 on my control unit. So next I will show you that it's actually functioning. So you can see by my status lights that I have safety enabled, indicated by the solid amber light, and I have a drive fault indicating, indicated by the red blinking light by the ready. Basically, my drive fault is just telling me that I need to acknowledge the um, safety circuit. So my digital input 2, which is switch 3, is my acknowledge fault, so I'll just acknowledge that fault. And then now... When I give it an on command, I'll do a identify the motor at standstill, which I chose to do during the commissioning wizard. So give it an on command, you'll hear the drive turn on, the motor making some noises during the identification. It'll take a few seconds, maybe up to a minute or two, depending on the size of the motor. My drive just turned off, so I know I'm done. So I can turn that on switch off, and the next time I turn it on, it'll run the drive. So now I'm running the drive. I can speed up or slow down. And then my switches, my digital input four and five, which is switch five and six actually, are my safety circuit. So when I switch those two off, simulating knee stop, I go into safe torque off mode. Now I cannot start my drive. I can take my, I can heal my safety circuit by pulling the safety circuit button back out, turn those digital inputs high, and now my solid amber light. Run the drive again, again, safe torque off, which is indicated by the blinking amber light. So that shows safety. Since I did a drive tuning, I need to save the parameters in the drive and then upload those to my project. So I will, since I'm online, I can save the parameters in the drive. So I'll go to online and diagnostics, save RAM to ROM.
that will store the drive tuning and the permanent memory of the drive. So when I power cycle, I don't use, lose that. And then I need to go offline and choose upload to save that parameterization from the drive up into my project. Then I can save my project and I'm done with commission of this drive. Thank you for your time.